Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel, Hooked in Loop. If you have not subscribed to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button and for updates of new videos, hit the bell icon. Today I will show you how to make this beautiful crochet cream catcher. In this project, I have used embroidery floss and metal ring for making the dream catcher decorated it with feathers and beads. Make a slip knot and insert the hook in it. Then we will make 8 chains. Now we will close this circle with a slip stitch with the first chain followed by a chain 1. Then slip stitch into the ring. Followed by chain 3 which you know is the first double crochet. And then chain 1 which you know is the chain 1 space that is chain 4. Then in the ring we will do a double crochet followed by a chain 1 space. In this round there will be a total of 16 double crochets with 1 chain space in between each of them. This is the last double crochet followed by chain 1. Close this round by a slip stitch with the third chain of the first chain 3 followed by chain 1 and you need to cut the yarn in order to do the next round where, we'll be, where we will be using a different colored yarn. Now we will take a different colored yarn and make a slip knot and then insert the hook in it. Then we will slip stitch in any of the chain 1 space of the previous round. Followed by chain 3 which denotes the first double crochet of this round. Then we will do a double crochet in the same chain 1 space. Followed by a chain 4. In the next chain 1 space we will be doing Two double crochet again a chain four followed by two double crochet in the next chain one space. Here. 
in this round each chain one space of the previous round will contain two double crochets with uh, chain fours between the pairs we have completed this round now we will do the last pair of double crochet followed by chain 4 and then finally we will slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain 3 of this round. Followed by chain 1 and then cut the yarn. We are going to do a color change, make a slip knot and insert the hook in it. Slip stitch in any of the chain 4 spaces of the previous round. Followed by chain 4 and then again slip stitch into the next chain 4 space followed by chain 4 again and then again slip stitch in the next chain 4 space in this round we will continue doing like this We will complete this round by a slip stitch into the chain 4 space of the previous round. Okay, now we will begin the next round. Quickly slip stitch into the adjacent chain 4 space and do chain 5. And slip stitch into the next chain 4 space. Again do a chain 5 and slip stitch into the next chain 4 space. Continue doing this throughout this round. We are now going to complete this round. This is the last chain 5 and we will slip stitch into the chain 4 space of the previous round as earlier. Followed by a chain 1 and then cut the yarn. Now we will do a color change, take a different colored yarn followed by a slip knot and insert the hook in it. Insert the hook in any of the chain 5 space of the previous round and do a slip stitch there. We will do a chain 3 
daddy knows the first double crochet of this round followed by a chain one space and then we will be doing one double crochet in the same chain five space followed by again a chain one and then again a double crochet in this same chain five space followed by chain two we will go to the next chain five space and do a double crochet there followed by chain one another double crochet followed by another chain one and then a third double crochet followed by chain two so this is going to be the order that is in each of the chain five spaces there are going to be three double crochets with one chain one space between each of them and uh, between a group of three double crochets there will be two chains so continue doing like this Now I am going to do the last um, group of 3 double crochets and we will complete this round by a slip stitch into the 3rd chain of the 1st chain 3 of this round. We will do a chain 1 and then finally cut the yarn. So the main interior of the dream catcher is ready. Now we will do the border. I have taken a white colored yarn, made a slip knot and inserted the hook in it. Insert the hook in the chain 2 space of the interior of the crochet along with the ring okay and do a slip stitch that is we are joining the interior to the ring okay or the metal ring okay and then do a chain followed by two single crochets in the same chain to space and the ring now we are going to do seven single crochets in the ring only Now we will again do two single crochets in the chain two space of the interior of the ring catcher along with the ring.
followed by seven single crochets on, on in the ring. After that again join the dream catcher interior to the ring by two single crochets in the chain to space and the ring. In this way we are going to continue throughout the circle and complete our white border to the dream catcher. We have reached till the end finally. Now we are going to do the last 7 single crochets to the metal ring and finally we will join it with a slip stitch to the first uh, single crochet stitch of this round. We have done a slip stitch followed by a chain one and then we will cut the yarn. So finally our dream catcher main circular disc is ready with a white colored border. Now we are just going to decorate it with feathers and beads. Uh, I have forgotten to mention you that the rim is nearly 3.5 inches so this design is applicable for 3.5 inches now the decoration is completely up to you that uh, how many feathers you are going to add at which position and what will be the length of the hanging feathers so it's completely up to you now considering uh, the portion where the thread is hanging to the mid one from there we are going to count the fifth space and insert the hook in there and do a slip stitch followed by chain 10 you can add as many number of chains according to your length I have done a chain 10 now keeping a long thread in, we are cut the, going to cut the yarn and insert beads in it. Now we are going to add a feather either by sticking it into the beads or by tying a knot around the end of the feather so observe it very carefully I am inserting the feather end or the tail into the chain spaces for a grip okay and then we are going to uh, uh, stick uh, by a, a gum after that I am just uh, swirling it around of, uh, for tying a knot so in this way it will uh, stick to the beat uh, very um, strongly in this way we are going to attach the other feathers too um, in the inside by slowly increasing the length of the chains till we reach the middle feather and then again decreasing till we reach the end.
we are going to stick all our feathers to the dream catcher with a strong glue and complete decorating it and at the end now we are going to add a loop to the dream catcher uh, so, so that we can hang it to the wall we will insert the hook at the mid position at the top and do a slip stitch and do as many chain as you want the length of the loop to be and finally we will form a loop by joining the end of the chains to the starting uh, stitch by a slip stitch and chain one and then finally we will cut the yarn finally cut those ends so that uh, your dream catcher looks very pretty and at the center add a bead finally our dream catcher is ready it's looking very beautiful very pretty especially the color combination so i hope you liked this video and it was easy to follow if you liked my video then please hit the like button um, comment in the comment section for many more ideas and uh, please subscribe to my channel so have a great day and thank you